Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Friday Gear Show. Today we're going to be looking at training devices and specifically training devices that you can hang off stuff. So let's call them free hanging training devices. And you need to think about things like a TRX, a system where it's got a loop, you can set it up on a tree or a pull up bar or even a carabiner attached to a bolt somewhere in your house. You attach these and then you do your training. And the joy of these kind of devices is that you can move them. So let's say that you want to go to a gym that doesn't necessarily have those kind of training facilities. Simply put these into your bag and off you go. Or if you're a traveler and you spend a lot of time on the road or at airports, some of these in your backpack doesn't take up space and you can keep that training regime going. And finally, if you go to a crag, you've got your super hard project and you don't want to faff around on a warm up, simply attach some of these to the first bolt of a climb and you can warm up those fingers without getting injured. Now the selection of items that I've picked today, we do sell on the Epic TV shop, but this is not a sponsored show. Of course, we sell this equipment, we do make money off it, which is how we produce videos for you guys, but we're not being paid to talk about it. This is just stuff that I like. So let's crack on with the first item. So let's look at a classic TRX style device. Now this is made by the guys at the Cafe Craft gyms in Nuremberg. And if you know anything about Cafe Craft, you'll know what a training hub that is. It costs round about 90 euros on the Epic TV shop, depending on prices at the time you guys look at them. It comes in this rather nice carrying case. It's in sections to start with, and then you very easily put it together and off you go. And then once it's been put together, you simply keep it in this bag. You can find TRX style devices all over the internet, but this one has a few nice features that set it apart. The handles are ergonomically designed and well padded, so you can perform for longer in comfort. The sling trainer can be quickly and easily adjusted using the carabiners on the handles. So you can seamlessly move between exercises without too much faff. Now, as with all of these free hanging devices, it's sort of simple to say, well, you simply hang it on something, but that can actually be tricky to find an appropriate place to hang it. But the sling trainer comes with this door, watch it, duty thing that you stick through a closed door, shut the door, and that holds it in place. And you can also do that on a window. So that means that this thing can be used in pretty much any house that you could think of. There are loads of uses for the sling trainer or for a TRX style device. And within the box for the sling trainer, there's some suggested exercises, or we've actually done some exercises ourselves. So you can just Google that and find out what to do with it. They're especially good for core work, pushing exercises or antagonistic exercises. If like me, you've got dodgy shoulders, then a TRX is a fantastic way to improve those little stabilizer muscles within the shoulder. I've been doing the lattice training plan recently and that needs a TRX as part of the program. And something like this that I could carry around would be perfect. However, there is a downside, and for me, that's just the whole sort of bulk of the thing. It weighs 1.4 kilograms, and although it comes in this nicely packed bag, it's got quite a lot of stuff in it. So if you're looking for a quick trip or you're traveling, you don't have very much space, this perhaps isn't the easiest thing to transport around with you. So next, we're gonna be looking at a brand that's very close to my heart. They're called Problem Solver. They're fairly new, but they're making beautiful handmade training solutions for climbers. Now, I actually bought one with my own cash, which was a fingerboard, which we actually covered on another show. And today we're gonna to be looking at the triangle. Now, technically speaking, this isn't a free hanging device. However, you can attach it to things and hang off it. So I think it does come into this category. The product was first developed as a rehab or injury tool for climbers who couldn't do regular fingerboard training but still wanted to improve their grip strength. The triangle comes with one, two and three finger pockets with lovely smooth rounded wooden edges. These will be kind on your fingers and mean that you can train harder for longer. An extra five millimeter insert is included in the bag so you can make the hold smaller if necessary. You can attach the triangle to weights to improve forearm and grip strength to cable pull machines in the gym or a TRX setup. So instead of just working out and getting big muscles, you can attach these and improve your finger strength at the same time, training two things at once. 
You can also attach the triangle, or two triangles if you get two, to the back of your problem solver board, giving you even more options when you're training or warming up. It's worth pointing out that when you buy one of these from the Epic TV shop, and they cost around about 40 euros, you get one triangle for your money, not two. So if you wanted to use two for both hands, then you'd have to buy double. But for 80 euros, that's really not too bad, consistent with the rest of the products that we've got here today. I really like it. It's kind of weird and a little bit niche. And until I actually started using it for this video, I kind of didn't get it. But when I attached it to the weights, started using that grip strength, I can really see how this would benefit a climber. So I'm looking forward to using this more in the future. Now, the next product we're going to look at is a firm favorite of the climbing world, the Metolius 3D Rock Rings. Now these sell for around about 45 euros on the Epic TV shop, and they're currently, at the time of filming this, discounted by 30%, so an absolute bargain. You get two of them for that price, and they're reassuringly solidly built and fairly heavy pieces of equipment. And therefore, I reckon these are best to be left set up in your home gym or even at the gym for use rather than carrying them around. Each rock ring has three finger pockets, varying in size from four fingers all the way down to two fingers. So you can train whatever weakness you might have in your fingers. You can also use the top of the ring as a jug for pull-ups or a TRX style workout. This really is a TRX style device with built-in finger pockets. And if you extended the cord that you get with it, which isn't super long, then you could create that TRX style setup in your home gym. They are heavy, they are weighty, and they aren't as kind on your fingers as wood. But I know a lot of people who love that resin feel, and it is without doubt grippier than its wood alternative. I think there's a place for this, and at that price, it's a real bargain. So it's a good item to look at if you're a bit more budget conscious. Okay, let's move on to a product that you guys have gone nuts for over the last couple of years, which is Max Grip. Now, this is called the Hybrid, and different from the Metolius, it's a lot lighter, and it's made of wood, so it's better on your fingers and more transportable. We're selling the Hybrid for around 80 euros on the Epic TV shop. And why is it called Hybrid? Well, it's a mix of wood and resin in the holds itself. The big advantage of the Hybrid is that you can set it up in a variety of ways from crimps, slopers, jugs, and pinches, with minimal adjustment, the hybrid can be used to train many different grip types. You can also set the hybrid up as a TRX due to the long attachment cord that is provided, so core and antagonistic training are possible. If, however, the hybrid is a bit too bulky for you, then you might want to check out a new product on the Epic TV shop, the X-Monster from Max Climbing. As you can see, a slightly lower profile and a different style of training device. The X-Monster sells for 49 euros on the Epic TV shop, and you get a pair of them for that price. The X-Monster combines six different grip types, and similar to the hybrid, you can rotate and change the angles of them to facilitate those grips. We literally only got this delivered to the Epic TV shop the other day, so I haven't really had a chance to put this through its paces. But what I do like is the way that you can flip it and have different style of crimps in there. So if you want a straight up small edge, that's fine, or you flip it over and there's more of a slopey edge on it. And the same for the top jugs. I like the fact that you can train lots of different styles of crimps and holds with one device. And perhaps because it's a bit lighter, because it's a bit smaller than the hybrid, it might suit travelers better. So maybe the hybrid for your permanent home gym, and then this X Monster for on the road. Okay, so there's a few of the products that I like and I've used mainly before. Now, I'm sort of in this training mindset at the moment. Loads of you are getting our Lattice training deal, which combines the Lattice training 12-week plan and the Lattice rung for a super cheap price. I am deep into that thing, and items like this are really useful to have in your bag if you're doing a training-specific plan. There's lots of things you need, and when you go to the gym, someone else might be using the device or it might just not have them. Having this means you can train anywhere, which is really, really good, I reckon. And also, 
There's something about buying a new piece of training equipment that really helps to improve your psyche. Let's say that you're sort of a bit lethargic, you don't really want to train. Invest in something, buy something shiny, and you'll want to go to the gym more. It sounds weird, but I promise you it's true. It's just a little kick up the ass at the end. Do let me know, as always, if you've used these products. Are there flaws that I haven't noticed? Is one way better than the other? And please let me know what you think of the Problem Solver Triangle, because I'm very excited by this product. Cheers for watching, guys. Have an amazing weekend, and I'll see you next week.